So there I was, just another day in quarantine, watching the Tiger King, when I got a text from my pilot buddy, Ali Reza. Dude, you're not gonna believe this. Probably not. I know where you can get the cheapest fuel ever. Okay, I'll bite. Where? Inyo Kern. Never been there, but how cheap can it be? Cheaper than a pilot on a blind date. Wow, that's pretty cheap. So how much is it? Carla and I wasted no time to hop in the plane and go. There was absolutely no freaking way I was going to miss out on this crazy deal. So we are cruising along at 5,500 feet, crossing over these mountains here into the Mojave Desert. So my friend Ali Reza told me about uh, a crazy, crazy special deal going on at this airport called In Your Turn. The cheapest fuel I've ever heard of in my life. One dollar and 19 cents. So uh, it's a special deal, it's only for like three or four days. But we pilots are always looking for ways to save money. What better way to save money than uh, to fly 100 miles to get the cheapest fuel in the world. So we left Los Angeles on a 45 minute flight up to the small town of Inyokern. I think it's safe to say we're going to get the cheapest fuel in the universe. What do you think about that? Oh, come on. Cheapest fuel in the universe. How about UFOs gas? Nah, uh, they, they, they pay more for their gas. So we're flying to Inyokern Airport, which is in the town of Inyokern. It's a strange name for sure, um, but it's on the border of two counties of, in California. One is Inyo County. The other one is, what do you think? Kern? Exactly. Kern. Inyo Kern. And uh, Inyo Kern, not much going on. Um, I think the airport's been around since like the 30s. And then uh, when World War II started, the Navy took over the airport there and turned it into a weapons testing base. They've since moved the Naval Air Weapons Station about eight miles to the east of there, and then turn Inyokern into a public airport. Inyokern's on the eastern slope of the Sierra Nevada, so when the wind's blowing from the west, you can get some pretty crazy mountain waves over there. Luckily, today it's calm. <laughs> um, so, so for that reason, Inyokern is well known for its uh, gliding and soaring. A lot of people, a lot of gliders over there. In fact, uh, a world altitude record was set there in 1961 by a glider. They got to 46,000 feet in a glider, unpressurized, it's crazy. Um, that record has since been broken. I think the record is now like 52,000 or something like that. Current traffic, blue, white, Grumman, left downwind, one five in your current. All right, so here we are in your current. Apparently, we're not the only ones that have heard about this cheap fuel. There are a few other planes here. It cost me $39 to uh, fill up my airplane at Inyo Kern, and I tell you, it, it feels really good to be burning $1.19 av gas. So, with our mission to Inyo Kern accomplished, the conversation on our way back home turned to a much more pressing matter. What are you uh, hungry for? 
Oh, a hamburger or whatever. I need, I need food. Hamburger? Yes. But there's only one thing that beats a hamburger. What is that? A taco? Yes. <laughs> so do you want a taco or a hamburger? A oh, taco always. Taco always. Always. You would never turn down a taco? No, nah, never. You've eaten uh, tacos for 75 days straight and then someone comes with a plate, a hamburger on no. the side and a taco on the side. I, what would you do? I would eat a taco because <laughs> I've done it. Well guys, thanks for following along on our short little flight. And if you hear of any gas cheaper than $1.19, let me know. I might have to go get some.